Okay, all right, Jordan. A great workout on Saturday, October the 23rd. You'll see in this uh, this clip right here, um, you'll see some things starting to reveal itself. And, you know, you really are squaring the ball up. That's that's a good thing, and if you're sitting fastball, and I'm you know all of these pitches you were sitting fastball, uh, the ones at the beginning of this video you were sitting fastball, and generally when you when you see a fastball come out of the pitcher's hand, uh, and you recognize it, your front your front foot will land, and you know it'll start to open up a little bit as you see that it's a a fastball. But I really think that when you shift back, all right, and you'll need to work on this this week, when you shift back, all right, and then when you stride forward, you need to you need to be more on your toe, your front toe, and not have that heel all the way down. So your heel is really coming down really fast. And the reason is is because, you know, on a fastball, if you're sitting fastball in BP, that's just a habit that just develops. And you know, you, you can definitely rock and roll and, and mash them, no doubt. But when somebody starts throwing curveballs and you're fooled on a curveball and you're already opened up like that, you're gonna be pulling away from the ball. Okay, and you know, you're not gonna recognize it, and so you're kind of pulling off to where you think the fastball is gonna be, and then all all of a sudden it's a breaking ball. So, you know, that's why it's better to have kind of a, um, an approach where you're, when you stride, you lift that foot up. When you land, your heel is a little bit more pronated towards the pitcher. So your heel, you're kind of leading a little bit with your heel. And then, you know, it keeps your, that keeps your front foot closed longer. Uh, you pick it up as a fastball, boom, you turn and you hit the ball. You pick it up as a curveball, you keep it closed, you wait, and then you explode on it. And uh, just work on that, your dry swings. And if live arm, just go ahead and you can start in a number two position with your heel facing or pushed more towards the pitcher. And then you can work on that. But you had a great workout. Um, you just need to work on the off-speed stuff where you're more on your toes and you're here again. You just it gets you closer to the strike zone too. So also check out your right arm on this swing. And I'd like to see it get a little bit more extended through the follow-through. Little things like this is gonna just, you know. Give you something to work on, and uh, I look forward to getting back with you this Saturday.